And let's talk more about this now with California State Senator Susan Rubio, uh, who represents Monterey Park. Senator, uh, our thoughts are with you and your community right now. What are your constituents telling you? I, I have to imagine they're in a bit of a state of shock right now. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. And I want to just take a moment to say thank you to everyone that's been sending messages to our community, to me personally, offering support and condolences. Our community is clearly devastated. And the initial reaction from our community was to know that the community was safe. Keep in mind that we had someone at large. They didn't know if he was going to come back to an, another facility. So it was uh, a sigh of relief when we were able to report that the suspect was not captured, but as we now know, um, committed suicide. So they felt a little relief, but still there's a lot of heartbreak in our community and we'll continue to monitor the situation. If you can uh, explain to us a little bit uh, about what these uh, ballroom dance studios are like in the Monterey Park community. Uh, you just get the sense that they were just an important part of the social fabric there, and, and especially on a holiday like this. J just tell us how important these places are and, and how it could impact you going forward in terms of people feeling safe going to, to ballrooms like these. It's absolutely critical to have these facilities, but in particular for our seniors. Um, now we know from our reports that the majority of people that were in that ballroom were uh, 50 to um, 70 years of age, especially some of the victims. I believe one was 50, most of them were 60 and 70. And so that's taken not only a place for them to gather and come together as a community, but you know, as we know, I don't believe they're, they're going to be able to go back and uh, participate. I feel really heartbroken for the owner. I know that there's a lot of trauma, a lot of guilt. And so we hope that our community can heal and uh, come together uh, as we have been. But uh, once again, we want to encourage everyone to check in on each other just to see how they're doing mental health wise and uh, just to see they're OK. So to that end, Senator, what type of resources will the state be able to uh, provide for folks in Monterey Park that are dealing with this tragedy? Well, right now, locally, there's a trauma center for all the families that they need help, that they want to speak to anyone. Uh, but as a state, we've put resources together. So now we're able to provide extra patrol funding for extra police presence. And so our state has been very involved since uh, the minute we heard the news and they've been there so supporting the local police. And so anyone that needs help, uh, please contact the local community center. I want to talk to you now a little bit about the situation involving the firearms that were used in the commission of this crime. And the sheriff spoke earlier about the gun recovered at the second scene. And he said he believes it's not even legal to have a gun like this in the state of California. Uh, obviously, California has some of the strictest gun laws in the country. What is your response uh, from you or even your fellow lawmakers about the laws you already have in place? Is there an enforcement problem here? Well, we want to call it that. The way I see it is California does have one of the toughest laws, but however, these perpetrators go across um, our state lines to purchase weapons in other states. So what we need is a national uh, gun reform laws. And I know that we're having a, a difficult time trying to pass just common sense gun laws, but I think that it has to be an effort that's done nationally. And I hope that our national partners see the tragedies occurring. I also understand that there was another tragedy after that, that shooting. So these continue to grow. I know that in 2017, we were about 350 mass shootings. Uh, 2022, they grew for about 648. So they almost doubled. And they're, they're going to continue to grow. I believe there's 33 already this year, and we haven't even completed the month of uh, January. So we need something at the national level, absolutely. Here in California, we're very committed, but we need our national partners to follow as well.